So I'm glad we we finally restart our classes. So uh, before I just go to the review, I'm pretty sure that you forgot everything after these two weeks of doing nothing. So let me explain to you what happened. I was planning to post this uh, review much earlier, but uh, something happened. Something happened. So do you remember when I told you in January that the big epidemic is coming to America and I was just in China and I was just seeing what's happening there and then we were measuring how fast the epidemic is spreading and eventually it started in US and now the university is closed and we are supposed to meet online. We should teach you, let's say, remotely. And in certain way, that's correct. We should think, you should think, you should think about your own safety first. And that's why it is appropriate that you take all the precautions necessary. And let me explain that uh, just a few days ago, I had a kind of a respiratory problem and I went to the clinic and I talked to the doctor there. After a few visits, they advised me to go to the emergency. And then from the emergency, they took me to the COVID-19 hospital ward and I was kept there for four days, four days. I just was released yesterday. It is so funny because it all happened just a couple of hours after I posted my COVID-19 cartoon on our e-learning site. So as you see, things are not so remote from you. It may happen to you as well. So the idea is to isolate yourself, to make sure you do not have social contacts and you stay home. You do not expose yourself or others to the danger of, uh, of, this, of, this, of this coronavirus. So I hope that you will be safe and we will continue our classes. So let me start. This is important that we start our, our lectures. So we need to understand that, that we need to teach you and this is important. You have to learn the material that we promise to you, to teach you. So let's begin. So let me see if it works. So we start with the problems, certain review problems. And call this problem one because I plan to do in this first segment five problems. So verify if the function It will go much slower than in the class. You see here, we have to pay attention not only to, let's say like this, to writing and to the contents, but also to the technology, which can be quite complicated. If the function is harmonic, If it is, find its harmonic conjugate, conjugate, and the associated with them complex potential. So let me recall to you, so we already know what means a potential, complex potential associated with the, with the harmonic function. So let me write solution, solution. So in our case, 
what we are doing here, we are looking here for the function of two variables. So this function of two variables of the type u of x and y plus i v of x and y such that, so this function is analytic. And of course, notice that that function here, u, is the same as here. So we need to figure it out how this function is, let's say, related to v and identify the function f of, f of x and y. So let me write it down. Okay, f where f of z is analytic. 10. This is your conjugate. This, is, this one is your harmonic function. This is harmonic. And that part, imaginary part, is conjugate. Harmonic. Conjugate. So, instead of checking the conditions for harmonicity, that means in such a case, instead of checking that the partial derivative, second order partial derivatives of u with respect to x plus partial derivative with respect second with respect to y means y, y second one is zero, we will simply skip the first two tasks and we simply go to finding the complex potential. So we will attempt, we will try to identify the complex potential by analyzing the formula for u of x and y. To be more precise, notice that here I copy the denominator of the function u of x and let's write it down that x squared plus 4y squared plus 4y plus 1. It can be written just simply. This is 2x squared plus, and here we have here, 2y plus 1 squared. And then you see, oh, that looks like a 1 square plus another square. So possibly we can think about it as the modulus of this particular complex number. And this complex number, of course, looks like that. So I can write it down. This is just simply 2z. And this is plus i. And this will be square. This is 2z plus i square. Wow. And that means maybe this fraction in the definition of the function u has something to do with the expression that is Let's write it down, expression of that type, 2z plus i, 2z plus i. Let's look again. That may be exactly the, exactly the real part of this expression. I don't know, but I suspect that by writing this particular expression here in the terms of x and y can actually help. So let me do it. So this will be 2x plus i, and this will be 2y plus 1. This is 1. And then, of course, you can multiply both by the conjugate. So this will be x plus, sorry, 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 minus i 2y plus 1. And in the bottom, I also multiply it by conjugate. And by multiplication of conjugate, I'm getting the square of the modulus, which is 
all here. Let me finish this. Sorry, 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 again. This is minus 2x minus, and that one is i, 2y plus 1 closed. Okay, so next line. After doing that, what do I find out? I find out that this is must be equal, and I'm getting here this is 2x. That's my real part. And here we have here 4x squared plus and 2y plus 1 squared. And this will be minus i, and this will be 2y plus 1 divided by, again, the same, 4x squared plus 2y plus 1 squared. Hmm. Oh, let me rewrite it slightly so we can see. Hmm. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, then we can see better the connection. So this will be like it was before, plus 4 y squared plus 4y plus 1 and then this will be put here i and I put here minus and this will be 2y plus 1 divided that that one is again x squared plus 4y squared plus 4y plus 1. So in such a case if the function the uh, let's say the harmonic function that we are analyzing was this one. So this is harmonic. So that one would be conjugate. But when you go back to our, our function that we are actually dealing with, you notice here that there is a different coefficient, minus 3. So, but that's not a problem. We can just adjust the coefficients and we can basically already predict what is the what is the function that we are dealing here namely let me write it down then by observation or by observation we identify the potential complex potential And we can write it down right now so that this is potential f of z is equal and i put here minus 3 over 2 and then here we have here 2z plus i and then what do i get here i'm getting here that the real part in this case i'm getting minus 3x that's why we have it in the in the problem one exactly the function u of x and y and then I have here plus and this will be again another this is x so this is my i this is x square plus 4y square plus 4y plus 1 and here which will be like a 3y and this will be plus 3 over 2 so what we got, so this is our harmonic function, which was uxy. This is harmonic conjugate, that one, and this is this one, and that one is my complex potential. And that means we got the first problem solved. So let's go and do similar problem, maybe a little harder, and let's check how it is related, how we can apply this, the same type of the method to the, to the a little harder problem, let's say. Let me first, uh -huh. no, yes, and then we move it up. And let's start. So no problem number two.
problem done. The same question. So verify if the function and my function is u of x and y, u x and y equals and here I put a complicated formula, very, very much complicated. So this is 1 plus 2x square minus y square. And that one is plus, and this one is x square. Mm -hmm. And this will be plus y square square. And, sorry, sorry, something square. And then you are getting here the other side so the, let's say the numerator is x square minus y square plus one and then this one is equal let me write it down like this this will be two uh, maybe let, let's say two and this will be y plus one and this will be x and y so this is plus so that's my very fine thing is analytic no sorry not in analytic is harmonic find its harmonic conjugate. Let's write it down. V of X and Y and complex potential. f of z. So let's go directly to solution. And the first thing what we will do is that we will try we try to represent to to express mm, sorry express the denominator as a sum of two squares. That's like exactly like it was in the previous in the previous example because we want this to be a represent to represent the square of modulus of some kind of an expression that we can identify as a complex function. That means we look at this expression and say write it down here one plus 2x square minus y square. And then I look at that one and I see, huh, that one will be equal plus x square plus y square square. And then I say, this is, this already looks like a, this already looks like a, like, like, like a beginning of a full square, but something is missing. So maybe Maybe I complete that one to the full square because again, one plus two, and this is x square minus y square. And I put here plus, and this will be x square minus y square, square, because now I made it a full square. So this becomes a full square. And since I'm adding something here, so I have to subtract it again. So I subtract what I added. And then I have here plus, and this will be x squared plus y squared squared. And then, oh, I can simplify it, and I'm getting here, this is x squared minus y squared plus 1 squared. And here I'm getting simplification, plus 4x squared y squared, and clearly, this looks this looks like a like a modulus of certain number that we already remember. That's nothing else, and you can notice it immediately, easily that that one is equal to z square plus one modulus square. Indeed, indeed, remember that z square was equal to. And that was equal x squared minus y squared plus i 2xy. So that that's, looks like this modulus, like this modulus. 
So in such a case, I try to do the same, let's say, follow the same steps as it was done in the previous problem. Namely, I look at the expression here and I see that this expression, sorry, sorry, let me, that this expression comes from the multiplication. So let's write it down. This is z squared plus 1 times z squared plus 1. But here I take the modulus, so that may, maybe I should write it basically like that. This modulus of everything. So I multiply, that gives me the, the modulus squares. So I will look at that expression. So namely, this gives me the function that should be in the denominator. So this expression that I'm interested in is that one. This is z squared plus 1. And then already uh, we already know how, it write, how to write it. So this will be like this, x squared mi minus y squared plus 1. And this will be plus, and that will be i 2xy. This will be 1. Can we convert it to the... To the, let's say multiply both by the by the uh, let's write it down like that x square minus y square plus one we multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate so we are getting four x square and y square and at the top I will have this is x square minus y square plus one and this will be minus i to x y and then i look hmm so if i rewrite it down so the real part would be this one this is my real part here this is my real part so of course that's the same thing as we had before but in our function the real part is more complicated so let me write it down what do we have here our real part sorry denominator denominator uh, numerator, sorry, 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 numerator, numerator of u of x, y, looks like this, is, so let me, let me copy it, so this is equal, and let me copy again, this is equal x, and this one is equal x square minus y square plus 1, and then I write it down more conveniently. So I write it down simply y plus 1. And I change the little order. So this will be x and y. And look, this is the same thing that it was written there, except I changed the order of the numbers. So now I look here and I say, wow, there is a kind of a, hmm, there is a, there is a kind of a, uh, things that uh, appear, uh, like, let's say, appear cer in certain ways. So this, call this like a, this is my, real part of this numerator. This is my B of this numerator here, B. So you see this minus A. And that one is B here. So you see, it looks like a real part. This looks like a real part coming from the multiplication. So the numerator, let me write it down. The numerator, the numerator, of u of x, y is the real part of the product. Of the product, and let me write it down. So what is the product? So this will be written x squared minus y squared plus 1 plus i. Sorry, sorry, this is minus i 2xy. Yes, this is exactly this, this expression here. And then you multiply it and you, you see this is, mm -hmm. and that this is, this means simply that this is x plus i y plus 1. Check it. Let's check it. So what do I get here? I'm getting here that this will be equal and that's exactly x times x squared minus y squared plus 1. i times minus i is 1, so this is plus. And then I'm getting here 2 
x y times y plus one and the imaginary part will be exactly y plus one times x squared minus y squared plus one and here we have here minus 2x squared y. So that's the real part. And exact, this is exactly the same thing. So notice that that value, that, 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 that expression here, this one, that this expression means nothing else than this is z, this is x, and this is y, and this is plus i. Plus i. And that simply tells you that the potential comes from that can be reconstructed reconstruct, from this formula by multiplying this expression by the z plus i. So let me write it down and let actually anyone can verify that this is actually correct. So f of z will be equal, this will be z plus i divided by z squared plus 1 z squared plus 1. And now, what do we do? We just simply, we just simply, okay, let's write down first. So this means that we are getting this expression, x squared minus y squared plus 1. And this is plus 2xy, y plus 1. So this is my original, my original function u. So this is 2x, sorry, 2x squared minus y squared, and this is plus x squared, and this is plus y squared squared, and then plus, and I put here i, this is plus i, and the second part is again 2x squared minus y squared, plus x squared plus y squared squared. And I look into this line here because we did this multiplication so we know what will be the result. This will be exactly the expression y plus one. And this will be x squared minus y squared plus one minus two x squared y. And we are getting that this is my conjugate. So maybe write it in red. This is my conjug uh, conjugate, harmonic conjugate. So this will be my harmonic conjugate V of X and Y. And this is my potential. Potential, this is potential. So to be, to, to look at this expression, I look and look and I see, actually I can still simplify it the expression for the potential, because actually, if you look carefully, there is a simplification. Namely, you can see that you can see that your function f of z can be written like z plus i, and this will be like a z plus i times z minus i. And then you are getting here that that actually can be simplified. So which means also that your actual function that is written here. Mm, let me see why, oh, why oh, the actual function u of x can also be simplified. If you, you cannot see it clearly. So this function here, u of x, can be simplified. And this function can be written in a much simpler way. So if you, if, you, if you look at that one, then you can see that the, this can be written. Let's write it down. So this will be like a x squared plus r, uh, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe let's write it down like it's supposed to be written. Plus i, and this will be y minus 1, and over 1, and then it is equal, this will be x minus i, y minus 1, and this one is x squared plus y minus 1 square. So this gives us the simplification for that formula. So this will be, let me write it down. 
it's actually is equal to x mm -hmm. x just simply x divided by uh, x square plus y minus one square hmm. interesting interesting let's simplify it for me so so okay the uh, we get the answer so the, this is my answer the answer is given here so we can write it down answer and put here like this uh, u of x and y harmonic v of x and y is equal i will copy this one first like this here 2x square minus y square plus x square plus y square square and you can you can you can you can write rewrite it like it is here so this will be y plus one and this will be x square minus y square plus one minus and this will be two x square y but then of course i can also identify as that function so this will be minus y minus plus one that's coming from here and this is x squared plus y minus 1 squared. And f of z is equal 1 over z minus i. z minus i. And that's, that's the end of this first part. So we will solve uh, more problems uh, in the next segment. This is, remember, this is just for the purpose of Re refreshing your memory and coming back to the class from the holidays so we are doing these problems in a in a in a way this is supposed to produce kind of a review that you still remember the functions they still remember how to retrieve from the function real part and uh, imaginary part and also you should also remember the basic formulas for these elementary complex functions. So I would say thank you and uh, let's see you a moment in a moment.